Hey, what is going on? Adventurers, Logic here with another Gishin Impact Guide Tutorial video. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> so today we're going to be going over how to gain more stamina in Genshin Impact. Let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about stamina itself. A lot of people have it twisted when it comes to Genshin Impact's stamina system. It doesn't work like it would in a traditional video game. For instance, in most games, you level up your character and you would get stamina points or something, right? Well, in Genshin Impact, it's completely different, right? Instead of leveling your character, you find statues. That's right, statues. These statues are spread out all across the land of Taivat. They're called Called the Statue of the Seven. At the moment, there are only two different elemental types of the Statue of the Seven, Amino and Geo, which is wind and minerals in terms of elements in the game. Once you find and interact with a Statue of the Seven, a portion of the map will open up. Once you exit out of the map, the Statue of Seven will give you some dialogue. What you want to do next is worship the statue. After clicking that option, it will give you a menu listing rewards you are able to get. The first of the these rewards being stamina. But you can't just claim these rewards right out the gates. You'll need a special resource called Aminoculus and Geoculus. I don't know if I'm saying those right, so I apologize. But you can find both of these resources through exploring the world. The Aminoculus and Geoculus spawn throughout the land randomly. They show on the mini map when you are close, but not on the actual big map. You'll know you're close to a Aminoculus or Geoculus when you see a star-like symbol. Kind of reminds me of the prayer symbol from RuneScape, you'll see it on the map. Another thing to note is while you're out gathering the statues of the seven, go ahead and grab the teleport waypoints as well. If you're early in the game, it's best to grab these teleporters now because come late in game, they're gonna come in handy, man. It's gonna be real useful. So if you particularly don't feel like walking, save yourself the trouble now. Also, another thing about these statues of the seven, if you're like me and don't like opening up your map every time you need to see where the statue is, look up in the sky. The Statue of Seven will have a red beam that you can follow that will make it easier for you to tell where it is. This beam turns blue once you interact with it the first time. Okay, so also one last thing. I made a chart just listing all the level up rewards and the offering quantities of the Statue of the Seven just so it's a little easier to lay out and you get to actually see it visually. Some people are visual learners, so this is going to be something good to look at. Let's talk about the level up rewards first. I'm just going to, you know, list them. Nothing Thing too serious it's not in depth at all so at level one and two you're gonna get seven stamina at level one through three you're gonna get five uh, sigils as far as primo gems go it's just gonna be ten across the board all the way up until level nine I didn't have any information on level 10 so I just kind of left it blank as far as adventure exp goes you're gonna start off at 80 and it's gonna go up from each level with increments of 40 so level one will be 80 level two will be 120 and then level three will be 160 and you pretty much get the pattern right so that's gonna be all the level up rewards for the statue of seven okay so let's get into the actual offering quantities which is pretty much how much we're gonna have to give in order to get these rewards at level one we're gonna have to give one amino and two geo at level two we're gonna have to give two amino and four geo at level three we're gonna have to give four amino and eight geo at level four we're gonna have to give six amino and 12 geo at level five we're gonna have to give seven amino and 14 geo at level six we're gonna have to give eight amino and 16 geo at level seven we're gonna have to give 10 amino and 20 geo and at level eight we're gonna have to give 12 amino and 24 geo at level nine we're gonna have to give 15 amino and 30 geo so it's pretty simple stuff and just to clarify things when you look at the map or the land of Tyvet, you can kind of tell that the amino side is on the right and the geo side is towards the left kind of like bottom right corner like south south uh, west is what I want to say so they're separated so you'll know when you're in geo land and you'll know when you're in amino land well that's gonna be it for the tutorial guide on how to gain more stamina in Gishin impact if you like the video you know give it a thumbs up as it helps your boy a ton also if you enjoy the content consider subscribing to the channel because that's a cool thing to do you know I really don't have another reason but that's a cool thing to do anyways this has been Logic, and I will see you in the next chapter.